Our next guest is Pamela Berlin, director of Pittsburgh Public Theater's Tally's Folly. She's directed at Manhattan Theater Club, Circle in the Square, and Playwrights Horizon, as well as many other New York and regional theaters, and served as president of the Society of Stage Directors and Choreographers. Previously at The Public, she directed T, Driving Miss Daisy, and A Moon for the Misbegotten, about which City Paper said it grabs you and stays with you long after the stage lights have dimmed. Thanks for joining us, Pam. Delighted to be here. Tell us about Tally's Folly. Um, this is my first experience with Tally's Folly, with the play. Um, I saw the original production mm. 30 years ago, something like that. Great. And other than that, I'm coming to it new. Tally's Folly is described as a, ro a romantic comedy, yet it won a Pulitzer Prize. How do you think the play transcends the typical romantic comedy? You know, I'm not sure what a typical or conventional romantic comedy is, but I mean, this is a play with a lot of humor, but a tremendous depth mm -hmm. about uh, two very unlikely people coming together uh, who we come to realize both harbor some deep secrets which they are afraid to divulge to one another. So, I mean, it has. Uh, an incredible intimacy, but universality, and you know, so yeah. that's how I would describe it. It seems to <clears throat> me that with a two person play, the chemistry between those two actors is especially important. How did you choose these two actors? You know, I first started in my mind with who, who would be the best actors for each role. As it turns out, um, Andy, Andy Polk, and Julie Fitzpatrick. Um, are two actors whom I knew from before, Andy from quite a while ago, but um, have always wanted to work with him again. Julie I worked with just a few years ago. Um, so, you know, my first thought was who, what actors are best suited for these roles? Mm -hmm. They don't know, they didn't know one another, so they, mm -hmm. were, they were meeting for the first time on this. Um, but you're right, if the chemistry doesn't work, there is no play. So I could only intuit that, <laughs> you know, it was going to work, which it does, so. Um, yeah. How do you <clears throat> approach that as a director, trying to find that chemistry, or do you kind of let it up to the actors? You know, we find it together, and the first, the first four or five days when you're just, you're sitting at a table and reading and stopping and talking before you're getting on your feet and you're working out history, and circumstances and all of that, that really lays the groundwork for what comes after. So that's a very important period. And you know, we, um, we actually rehearsed in New York for three days before we came to Pittsburgh mm. because of various circumstances. And so we were working at my dining room table during that time. And there was something wonderfully intimate about the three of us just sitting there for hours at a time and starting to work through this play together. I think we were, we were lucky to have that. Mm -hmm. so. Um, <clears throat> Tally's Folly begins with the character of Matt directly addressing the audience. Do you think that opening changes the context of the play? It does. It does a lot. Because what it really says is, because Matt is addressing the audience, it says to the audience, you are included in this. Mm -hmm. um, we're going, you and I are going to work this out together. Uh, so I think it changes it enormously. Yeah. Uh, with the last play that you directed at the public, A Moon for the Misbegotten, there were long scenes with just two characters very similar to Tally's Folly, and it seemed to me the blocking was very organic. Did you take a similar approach with Tally's Folly? I would say yes, in that we find it together. Mm -hmm. you, you, uh, you know, the actors and I have to find it together. I've obviously spent months ahead of time with this play, and also many months working with the set designer to come to a design that will work for the play. Mm. But once the actors arrive and we start working together, it really has to be what feels natural, and uh, you know, you spend weeks finding that, things change and shift, but um, you know, it is, as you say, a very organic process. It's not something that can be 
worked out ahead of time. Mm -hmm. They have to find it. So that's how we work. Great. Well, best of luck. I know you have two more weeks of rehearsal, and I hope they go well. And Thanks. good luck with your opening. Thanks. Pittsburgh Public Theater presents Tally's Folly, running November 11th through December 12th. For tickets, call the O'Reilly Theater box office at 412-316-1600 or buy online at ppt.org. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.